everyone. Welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. I am here to uh, do a quick tutorial on a craft item that I had in my craft show this year that just absolutely went like wildfire. And I am absolutely making some more now because um, they have sold out. Um, I'm talking about these little playing card holders and I've showed them on my channel already but I have not done a tutorial. They are just adorable. Um, they hold the little cards like when you're playing cards. Um, and they're super easy to make so I'm going to show you um, how to make these. Like I said, uh, they were very, very popular. A lot of people bought them for their parents um, or elderly people, even kids um, to hold their cards. It just makes it easy. And um, I have quite a few cut out uh, that I'm going to have done for my last craft show. So um, I enjoyed them this year, but they have been tiring and um, I apologize that I have not been on in the last uh, couple of weeks, but it's because I, all I have been doing is remaking everything that I have been selling out of. And um, so it's been taking up all my time. By the time I get everything done, I am so exhausted. I just, I just don't have the energy for anything else so I apologize so I will I'm on today to show you how quickly to make these cute playing card holders so what you're going to need is you can use any uh, material scraps that you might have or uh, if you have like a fat quarter um, any material scraps it doesn't take a uh, very much material to make one of these at all you're going to, you're also going to need two, two CD or DVD um, DVDs. Now, a lot of people don't use uh, CDs or DVDs anymore. Um, so if you have any that, you know, you used for music a long, long time ago or they're not in use, you can use those. Um, I went to Amazon and I just bought like a 50 pack um, like this. Um, so you can do that as well. So you're going to need two of these and uh, two pieces of material, which I'm going to show you how to cut that in a second. You're also going to need some of this thread. It's almost like a cord. It's actually called... Um, Isocord. It's by Amon Group. This is one of the ones right here that I had found and I have the black in the same and that's about most information I can give you on it. Um, it's not a polyester thread and it's not um, a cotton. You need something that's super 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 strong that when you pull this with all your might, you can't not break. Um, but it's still able to go through your needle on your sewing machine. Okay? If you do not have a sewing machine, you can definitely do this by hand. So, that's another uh, option as well. So, you're going to need some of this. You're also going to need two buttons of choice, whatever buttons you might like. Um, I have I have this little buttons, these little buttons here that I ordered from Amazon as well. They come in all the different colors, so I'll pick out some cute colors here. Like there's some nice green in this, so I may put the the green in the middle there. That goes nicely with it. So we'll get to the buttons uh, later, but you're going to need two buttons to go with whatever your um, material is. And so 
the buttons are going to go in the, in the middle. You're also going to need just a basic needle and thread. And your thread can just be, you can use this type of thread, or you can use just a polyester or cotton thread. It's basically just to sew your buttons on. Okay? So, um, what you're going to do is, for your material, oh, I apologize, you're going to need two pieces of interfacing as well. And I use the fusible because it's easy. I can just put it down and iron that on right into the center of my material. And then I don't have to think about it. Um, it stays in place. It's not going to move around. So any fusible uh, quilting interfacing. Okay, just has a little kind of cushion there. Okay, so for your material, basically what you're going to do is take your CD and that is the size you're going to cut your, your interfacing out to be. Okay, the same size as your CD. So you need two pieces of interfacing the same size as your CD or DVD. Then you're going to cut your material approximately an inch bigger than the width of your, uh, you know, the diameter of your CD. So I used a plate that just happened to be a, an inch bigger, but if you want to freehand it, you can definitely do that. Um, you can put your CD down on your on your material and you know draw all the way around this is curled up here an inch all the way around and uh, cut that out so you need two pieces like that okay so then what you're going to do next is take your interfacing that you cut first from your CDs and you're going to iron that in the center of your material like I have here. So that is already on there. <clears throat> After you get your interfacing um, sewn up, or uh, iron on, pardon me, you're then going to go to your machine and you're going to set your machine to 5.0 for your stitch length. And because um, you want to give it a nice big stitch length all the way around. Also, leave your tails on your um, thread at the beginning and at the end. So you're going to start stitching all the way about a half an inch on the inside so you have an inch uh, width there between your interfacing and the outside. So go about a half an inch all the way around, stitching with that nice loose stitch. Go all the way around the whole diameter of the circle. And once you get to the end, if you ha have a machine like mine that you can, has the automatic uh, scissors, do not use that. Pull it off and leave some tails like this. Okay? Because those are what you need to tighten this little piece of material around your CD. Okay? So after you um, do that, if you are not using a, a machine, you can just as easily um, take a good needle, thread your needle, and do just a basic uh, basting stitch all the way the same way you would your sewing machine in and out going all the way around the diameter of your material the same way a half an inch in and um, you'll end up with the same results the sewing machine just happens to be a little bit quicker so then you will end up with results like this and you'll have these little tails here uh, from your thread. 
So the ones that you want to pay most attention to are the ones on the inside. I'm just going to grab a hold of these here. Okay. So what you do is you take your CD. I'll try to do this up here so you can see it. So you take your CD, you place it on top of your inner facing, like that, right in the middle there. And then you take your thread that's on the inside, holding your CD down with your finger on the other hand. Take your thread the other and wrap it around your fingers and give it a pull. And it will gather all the way around your CD. Okay, and pull it as tight as you can. Again, you need to be using a good cord or strong thread. If you try to use cotton thread or even a polyester, it will snap on you and this will not work. Okay, so once you get this all gathered around, try to hold that in place with your thumb there. And then this is the tricky part is trying to get this not done with you know, one hand, if you got somebody that can come in and give you a hand, even better. So tie this into a knot. Once you pull this tight. Like I said, this is probably the, the trickiest part right here. It's tying this in a knot, keeping it tight, so. Okay, there. And then I always tie it a couple more times um, just to secure it. This keeps it nice and tight there. Okay, and then what you can do then is you can cut off those little tails to about a half an inch. Okay, so that's what your CD looks like on the inside now. All this is gathered around and you can see how nice and smooth that is on the outside, the little kitties. And um, this is all nicely gathered on the inside. And all these little ridges that stick up, when we put these CDs together, those that's what keeps the playing card in there nice and snug. Okay, so we can do the next one. So again, put your CD down on top of your inner facing there and just hold it in place. And... Just give it a nice pull. Now, sometimes you find that, see how it's kind of off a little bit? So all you need to do is just, just fix it and, and then pull it again. And sometimes I've had some that I pull it and uh, it snapped on me, but you know what? There's four little tails, see, just like that. There's four little tails here, so all you have to do is grab the next one and just tie that one together, because now it's all gathered up. Don't worry about it. There's always ways to fix things and um, Let the uh, little things drive you crazy. Um, the night before the last craft show, I was making these. And I had been in my craft room all day. 
to refund the morning and these were the last things and I was trying to get these done to take to the craft show and I had done a couple and they turned out okay and then I got to a, a, another one and the thread broke on me and then the sewing machine oh even before that um my sewing machine kept unthreading so every time I would go to do one I'd have to rethread the machine and it was just a, <laughs> it was just a nightmare it was a nightmare and um you know what I did I just said <laughs> I <laughs> forget this and I left all of them here I didn't even attempt to um fix the ones that I had done and I just said yeah forget it and uh walked away because <laughs> if not um I might have be I might have had to go and get a new sewing machine so anyways here is here's your two cds you can see that they're all gathered on the inside so now you're going to do is your now mine has a little little kitties on them so i want to make sure that they're lined up so the picture's right on both sides okay and then you're going to put them together now i have a nice big needle here uh, that i have knotted doubled and knotted I'm going to put this together and I'm just going to find the center and you can feel it with your finger of where the CDs are. You know, the hole in the CDs. So I'm just going to go through the center. I'm just not sure if you can hear the uh, siren outside. Firefighters. They're not coming for me. Um, if, if they were coming, I would put this down and run and the, the video will be still playing. Um, okay, so you're going to keep sew a couple of times um, up through the center, let's say four or five times. See the firefighter in my head, it just, I lose my whole train of thought I can't think okay so after you go through uh four or five times you just because you're just tacking this down then you get um your buttons I think these green ones go nice with this okay so I have these nice big buttons the only thing that you have to watch with your buttons is to make sure that your button is bigger than the hole in the middle of your CD because you don't want your button to push through your, the hole in your CD. Okay, so these ones are nice big buttons. So center that on there. And I'm just going to come up through. Through the center there. Now you can have, they don't have to be four hole like these. They can be two, uh, whatever ones you like. Now I'm just sew sewing uh, this side on first. So I have gone across and then up the center. And now, now I'm going to sew this back button on. So you see that I made like an X there. So now I'm going to sew the back button on and do the same. Trying to make sure that you keep it in the center.
I know that, uh, that Christmas is coming on us very quickly. I'm sure people are getting very busy with putting their, or getting their decorations ready. I'm not ready to put my tree up or anything yet, but I heard that my daughter has started to decorate. And I, was, oh, I think she was starting to even put her tree up. It's too soon for me. I'd like to put it up about mm, the first week in December. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody down in the U.S. I believe that is, oh, actually, that's next Thursday. So, it's a pre-celebration happy Thanksgiving. We've had our Thanksgiving in Canada. Hers is back in October. So, uh, just sewing it here, and I'm just going back and forth, um, making sure that the buttons are secure. And just a couple more through here. You want to make sure that it's nice and... Um, you know, secure. Sometimes it's hard to see where that little hole is. There you go. Okay, so once I get it um, to where I feel that I put enough through on the button, so now what I'm going to do is take my needle and go under my little X do you see that? And I'm going to go under the little X with the needle and then go through those threads and pull them tight to make like a little knot. And then I'll go the other way under the X. If you can see, See, I'm going under the X, okay? And then pull it through. And then these little threads here, I'm gonna take my needle, go through those to make like a knot when you're ending on a garment and just pull it tight. So now I'm going to go down one of the holes to come out on the other side. Okay, so I come out on this side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go under, under the X and put my needle through the thread there and then go the opposite way and, and put it through. Okay, and I'll do that one more time, just because this is where I'm going to cut it off here. So that essentially just cuts that in a knot, or makes that in a knot. And then just cut it as close as you can. And there you go. So now you have made yourself an adorable little card holder. Look how cute. And of course I have dog cards. Of course I would have dog cards. Right? And 
you can um, just take these and they when you put them in like you're playing cards. And when I show them at the craft show, I bring some a pack of cards with me. And I should take them the other way here. Uh, I bring a pack of cards with me and I display them like this so people actually know what they are. And I'm telling you, these sell like hotcakes. I sell these for $5. Um, I probably could get more for them, but I, I sold them very well at five and uh, there's not much to making them. Um, the cost involved... Mm, the CDs, I I probably the cost involved might be a dollar fifty, if that, and um, so they're I think they're worth it. It doesn't take long to make them, um, other than if you have problem with the thread and pulling them tight, uh, that's the only frustration. But once you get a hang of the hang of it, um, they go really well. And like I said, people really love them. They make great stocking stuffers and um, they'll last for years and years and years. And who would love to have, you know, be playing cards and have one of these? It's not just for older people. For just, for, I'm going to make one for each of my kids who are 30 and 28 and um, put them in their stocking and one for my granddaughter and the whole family. So we have game nights and stuff and I can't wait to see them playing with those. So I hope that you liked the tutorial for the playing, car the playing cards holder. And um, if you're not a subscriber of my channel, please subscribe. I'm so, 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 so close to a thousand and um, a thousand subscribers, which I've been waiting so long to get to. So please um, pass this video to a friend, share with a friend, like the video and um, please subscribe. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Um, good luck at your craft fairs or if you're just making them for stocking stuffers, or just making one for yourself. Good luck. Have fun with it with whatever you decide that you want to craft today. And just be kind to others. That's the most important thing. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.